Hi everyone, Jesse with Hawkridge Systems here today, and I'm going to show you the basics of the convert entities command and how to use that to create 2D sketches based on feature geometry. All right, let's jump into it. Now I want to create a sketch based on some of this geometry, but on another plane. So I've created a plane 150 millimeters above this part, and now I'm going to open up a new sketch on it. I'll tilt it just a little bit so you can get a better idea of what's going on here. Now I'm going to bring up my convert entities command. Now notice how I have my property manager pinned up here. That's so after I accept my selections and create a sketch, it stays open. Otherwise it closes automatically and I'd have to reopen it to make more selections. So just keep that in mind. It's a super useful and powerful tool. I use it all the time. Easiest way to use this command or most basic way is just select the face, accept that, and now all of the outside edges of that face have been turned into sketch entities. And the power of this command lies in this on edge relation that's created. I'll go into that in a little bit. A couple other ways you can use this. Let's say I select an inside edge. I'll select this inside arced edge here, convert that edge. Now because of this on edge relation, it holds a co-radial relationship to this edge. So let's say we're to exit that command. I can take an endpoint of that drag it around and it's going to keep that arc. All right. I'll delete that, show you a couple other ways to use this command. Now, if I select inner loops one by one, click on that same edge and convert it. Notice it'll convert the entire inside loop there. If I select my face that I originally selected, I have the option to convert every single inner loop on that face by hitting the select all inner loops button. Accept that. And now I've converted both these inner loops as well. What I'm after here is the three inside circles and the outside edge. So what I'll do is select the back face using my select other command, then select all inner loops and accept that. Now this command works with pre-selection as well. So I exited the command. I'm going to click on this front face and then select my convert entities command. Automatically converts those outside edges for me into a sketch. Now, like I said, the power of this command lies in this on edge relation here. And what this does is it holds our design intent. So if I were to change any dimensions to the model, this sketch would update with that. I can show you a quick example of that. Say I change this whole diameter here from 10 millimeters to 15 millimeters. I'll rebuild and notice both the model and the sketch update. One more time, I'll change this outside diameter from 50 millimeters to 65 millimeters and rebuild. And you can see both the model and the sketch have updated. All right, so that does it on my introduction on using the convert entities command. Like this video and subscribe for more content like this and leave a comment on what you want to see next.